tahu video I'm fine my day was very busy today and I had to pass a look Uh, I said that um, I had a very busy day today. I had to pass a lot of uh, subjects at my university. I mean, I had a lot of homework and oh. I had to pass today. How was your day? Right now? Yeah. Oh, I study foreign languages and literature. Uh, three. Only three. English, uh, German and uh, Spanish. I even uh, received scholarship. Uh, okay. Yeah. In the university, at the end of each semester, uh, we have uh, exams. And uh, if uh, a person will receive good marks for the exam, for all exams, and then uh, he or she has a right to receive scholarship. For me, or in general? Okay, in general I think that uh, for a foreign person it will be uh, difficult to learn uh, Russian or Ukrainian languages. And they, they are much different from, uh, from English, for example. We have, uh, we have endings and uh, in um, okay, for for example, in English we have the uh, noun and the adjective. So, and they have uh, no endings. There is no agreement between them. Adjective has no ending, and uh, and if the noun has any, for example, plural, the adjective still ha uh, has no ending. But Ukrainian, uh, we have cases and in German language but when the noun uh, cha uh, changes its ending uh, the adjective also changes its ending we have seven cases and uh, depending on uh, each case noun has different ending and uh, besides the adjective has different ending you know it's okay it's the uh, 
has very different languages. As, for example, uh, uh, English and German, they are also different languages. Yes. Uh, Ukrainian and Russian, first of all, a different pronunciation. Um, for example, uh, in Russian language, uh, um, if it is uh, the word is ended uh, in a voice uh, consonant, it would be pronounced as voiceless. But in Ukrainian, it will it will be voiced, still voiced. So it's about pronunciation. And uh, grammar also is a little bit uh, different. So, and of course, uh, um, one and the same object can be called differently in uh, Ukrainian and uh, in Russian. <laughs> no, no, different, different alphabet. Um, so, but uh, for the, um, in English we have the letter A, you know, and in Ukrainian we also have a, a similar letter, but, is, but uh, uh, it is called the uh, A. Yes. <laughs> In Ukrainian, uh, uh, 33 letters, and in Russian, uh, 32. Uh, uh, and uh, for and for me, for me, Ukrainian and uh, Russian languages are not dif are not difficult because sorry. Hello? Hi again, this uh, was my friend calling. Uh, no, <laughs> in Ukrainian. So, what? <laughs> okay, where is the Actually, all the uh, languages have uh, yes. There are some things that are difficult and that are easy. It depends. Actually, in English, for me, English now isn't diffi isn't difficult because I I know it much better than German. <laughs> but uh, for other uh, my friend uh, uh, said me that uh, English is difficult, even in, co in comparison with the uh, uh, Japanese language. Uh, you know, Japanese, they use their uh, such a different uh, alphabet system that, uh, no. So what about you? How many languages do you know? No.
Yes. I live in Chukasi. It is uh, the city not far away from Kyiv. Only uh, 200 kilometers from Kyiv. No. Ольга.
Isso. I'm going I'm going to work at school as a teacher. Yes, uh, I I have to help my friend. That's why she was calling. Yes, you can. Uh, you can uh, write me any time. Uh, after uh, after okay. Uh, about India. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye.